On today's fashion innovation feed news, we have some dramatic news concerning Balmain's stolen items ahead of their catwalk on the 27th of September in Paris. This was announced actually by art director Olivier Roustang, who took to Instagram uh, publicly that these items were stolen, 50 items to be precise. But something's a little bit strange about this. Firstly, that he announced this on the same day that this happened. Today, I went to the office at 9 a.m. waiting for the last pieces for our show. I was starting to create some looks with my team and our driver called us and said that he was hijacked by a group of people. More than 50 Balmain pieces stolen. He was driving from the airport to the Balmain headquarter. I wanted to share this with you to remind you, don't take anything for granted. Uh, oh, guaranteed. Okay. Uh, and, and please be safe. This is the world we are living in. And then actually in, as a little bit of a continuation from there on the caption, it said, this morning I woke up with a smile starting the fittings for my next show at 9 a.m. and this is what happened. So many people worked so hard to make this collection happen. We are redoing everything, but this is so, so disrespectful and we won't give up. Love you. O R. So yeah, this is obviously very devastating and you can just imagine how he is feeling emotionally to even do this post because I don't think he got any approval from anyone to make this, not just because of the grammatical errors, but also just the way it's written and what is being said. It does raise some eyebrows because why would that be kind of one of the first things you do um, instead of kind of keeping that for a future biography docuseries <laughs> or documentary about the brand or his journey in the brand. So either it was a cry for help or it's just a PR stunt where you know, although now that I think about it more, I'm not sure if it is a PR stunt because of the way it was written, I think it would have been written a little bit better uh, if like, a whole team kind of planned this. Also, I think what's quite strange is that how did this hijacker uh, know about this truck? I can imagine that this was probably, you know, an inside man because I can imagine usually these trucks they are a little bit more discreet I don't think they're gonna scream this is a Balmain this is a Balmain truck I don't think they usually do that and if they do that's not very smart um, but I don't think that's the case here I think it's more you know either the driver himself or someone else who's part of this uh, or part of the team really knew what what they were doing and this is kind of like from a movie um that i watched recently a french one as well um I've, i'll write the name because I, f I forgot it at the top of my head but it's actually quite interesting because it's a very similar story and i can imagine what may happen after this in this case it's like that movie where you know they're kind of selling things off and, and getting money for for it so if it is like that that is quite a shame shame on you <laughs> if that's the case uh but anyway whoever stole it shame on you altogether because this is just really unacceptable and i think it is quite disrespectful as actually what olivier was saying in his uh post um but ho hopefully the team and and who's concerned uh, are, are able to really get some closure on this because obviously ahead of the catwalk it is quite a traumatic event some people have actually said the same thing uh here we have hills views and valleys uh it is uncommon for individuals to engage in theft without some form of guidance or influence another funny one what in the fresh uh <laughs> never heard of that description but yeah quite explains that this is insane what are they even gonna do with the pieces and that's very true this is a catwalk piece this is not going to be something that you can just uh remake and get away with it so i don't think this is the last that we're going to hear of this story as obviously olivier has said that the show must go on so as it should all the best and hopefully we shall see great things happening on the catwalk on the 27th of september at paris fashion week with balman